Welcome back to another quick tutorial on taking, um, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to take an image from the internet. Um, a lot of times I will get things like this. A, uh, a customer will send me this picture that they've seen online and they're like, hey, um, can you make me, you know, 10 of these stickers or something along those lines or any of these stickers or eagles or anything that you see over here um, and you think to yourself like yeah that'd be great but how do I do that well that's what we're gonna go over right here so uh, with this image you can either save it to your computer and then open it um, in Adobe or um, you can do copy image uh, sometimes if you do the copy image and you paste and it is really blurry sometimes if you save the image and then open it back up you will get a little better resolution but as we can see this is a this is still a pretty good size image uh, when it first comes over it's uh, it's 28 by 28 inches so uh, so yeah so when a customer sends you this and they're like hey I'd really like to have this in a sticker and as we can see somebody before this picture was put up has already put a cut line around this so somebody somewhere has already done this sticker but we don't have this file and we don't have it in a vector um, and if we come up here and we highlight this oops if we highlight this and we try to image trace it um, let's see what it'll look like even if we do the 16 colors uh, this one might take a minute there's quite a bit of detail on this one so uh, let's just do this just to kind of see what the image is going to produce and see if you can work with it. I'm hoping you can't actually for the purpose of this video. Sometimes this backfires when we're just doing them live here. But let's see what it looks like once it finally does its thing here. Okay, yeah. So we can see like we could possibly use this. Um, it would take a lot of work to really get in there and, um, and make it also it just didn't kind of look like this. But instead, we're going to go back to the actual JPEG image. So here we are with the image we pulled right off of the internet. So how do I turn this into stickers? Uh, one other thing um, that I have found, not sure what the meaning of all of this is. I had somebody tell me once, you know, the little percentages up here in, on the uh, of how you're looking at it, and as you scroll in, um, it comes up to a hundred and a lot of people say if you scroll into a hundred percent this is kind of what it's gonna look like to the naked eye um, I always try to go to 300 before I will determine if it's good or not and then sometimes I'll zoom clear in to see how bad the image is pixelated but we're at like 1600 percent now so if we're back here at 300 percent and we just glance at this it it looks a little pixelated here, but I believe that's kind of the image. It's a shadow, so it's supposed to. So without trying to vectorize this and spend hours in updating the colors and, and stuff that I used to do, I have found a way to take this exact image and not even vectorize it, but still be able to cut it into stickers or even a t-shirt or whatever I want to do with it. Um, obviously you have to keep size in mind um, if somebody wanted this sticker on a billboard and you know they wanted it enormous um, then you're not going to be able to quite do that you'll start to see the pixelation at 150 it starts to get bad at 300 it's really bad so but if we're going to do small stickers um, this is going to work perfect so let's get started so we take the image we get it over here and we're going to use um, our image trace. But before we do, we want to take it. We want to hit Control C and Control B. And what that's going to do is that is going to create a copy directly over top of it. So here we are with two of them. So we click on this top layer and we click on image trace. And we don't click on any colors or any certain things because we just want this to image trace into black and white like it did right there. And then always remember to click on the expand button. So now we technically have this image is a vectored image. Now this we could blow up as big as we wanted. Um, you know, you could come in here and try to do some color changing. But as you can see, to get it to look like that, it would take a while. 
So we'll just hit Control Z and put it back on top. So from here, this image is all grouped together. Um, we don't want to ungroup because if you ungroup a lot of times, it'll ungroup other things and we need it to be a group. So what you do is you come in and you just double click on this and then you can see your little layer group bar up here comes across and now we're actually only dealing with this so now as you can see this is actually broken it all down into the colors but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of this white background that we have so we just highlight it and click delete I'm gonna go back here and show you one more time how we did that Oops, might have went back too far. No, nope, there we go. All right, so we've already image traced, we've expanded, and now we're stuck with this image. So in order to do what we're doing, we need to get rid of the excess white that's around the sticker. So we double-click it, and then that lets us pull this off, and then we delete it, and then when we click back on the dead area, it still keeps all of this group together. So, here we are with our image traced black and white over top of the JPEG image that we have brought over. So now what we're going to do with this is we need to make this solid. In order to do that, we highlight it, Object, Flatten Transparency, click OK, come over to your Pathfinder, and we hit Unite, Merge, and unite again. That creates the image is completely all a solid color with nothing in, in the middle of it. And now what we're going to do is we're actually just going to clip this right out. So as we have this image over top, we're going to highlight the black image and we're going to hit Control 8. Then we're going to click on the image that's in the back. You're going to, after you've hit Control 8, on the black image, you hold shift, and then you highlight your back image, and now they're both technically highlighted, and you hit control 7. And as soon as we do that, we see that it took this image, and it literally clipped it out from behind the other image. So now we have just this image. So from here, we're going to back up, and I'm going to show you the simple step to how to create this into a sticker. So I was showing you the clipping mask there, how we can clip that out. In order to make the sticker deal work, or t-shirt or whatever, you take this black, you hit control B, so you make a copy. So now we've got our black, our black, and then we've got the original image. Hit control Z, get those all back on top of each other. So now we highlight this, the black, we hit control 8, and then you have to highlight the actual image and hit control 7. Well now what that does is the same thing we just did, it does that clipping mask, but now we've got this black behind us. So if we take our image and we send it to the back, now we've got this little guy here, and this is technically a vector image. Um, I know it's just a black blob, but it's a vector image. So now what we can do with this is we need to make it bigger than the actual image so that we can make an outline. So we're going to go add new stroke, go up to about 4, 5, or 6, whatever you think look good. Um, go ahead and send it to the back. And then you can get a really good idea of how big that you want your actual outline to be. Um, so let's go, um, let's just say we want it around a set, a six. So we're going to bring the image back to the front that we're working with here. So this is the one we're working with. We put a uh, stroke of six points on it. But now we need it to be solid again. So we go to Object, Flatten Transparency. And then we do the Unite, Merge, Unite. And basically, I, I just do that because sometimes you'll get like a little speck or something in here. Um, and you don't realize it until you go to put the contour lines. And even sometimes then you won't see it. So a lot of times what I will do is just do the Unite, Merge, back to Unite again. 
So now what we can see is we've got this overlap here, or this overlay. We can send it to the back to see how it looks. So you can see we have our eagle, and we've got this outline. Now, you have this little white right here. There's not going to be really anything you can do about that. Um, it, it looks just like an actual little line in there. And When you go to print this sticker, it, it, it won't come out that bad at all um, compared to what you're trying to work with here. So with that being said, we can send this back to the back because what we want to work with is this guy. So now that we've got this image, we highlight it, and then we add a new stroke. Now this, we're going to do a five point because this is actually going to be our bleed line. And after we do that five stroke, we're going to create another stroke. And on this one, we're going to turn it into our cut contour. And we are going to go down to a point two five. And then we're going to send it to the back one last time. And if we scroll in here, we can see that we now have a bleed we have a black on the inside, and then it's going to use our cut contour lines right there. And with that, this is ready to go and have a sticker cut out. Um, you will have this little white part filled in here. There are ways to get rid of that as well. Um, we might do a whole other video on that. But if you are printing these as stickers uh, for customers or whatever, I personally would usually just leave this white. Um, and it makes it easier to cut. It speeds up the process of weeding and all of that. You don't have to go in and pull out these little cavities here. And if they're putting the sticker on something, it's not going to look that bad being filled in white there. Um, there. Like I said, there are some ways to get rid of that um, that we could have done through the process. But that is how I would take an image that would not image trace and turn it into a sticker. Um, with your black bleed on the outside. Um, you could also do that in white. Um, you know, if you wanted to do an actual white outline instead of black, um, you basically would just come in and change all of your colors. Double click on this, uh, turn it to white, um, and then, oops, then click on this, and then come up here and turn your stroke to white and then send it all to the back again and now you've got a white outline and actually on this sticker I would probably go ahead and do the white outline um, being that it had that little white that we had looked at just a minute ago this kind of takes that away um, so yeah so this is how I would print this sticker right here print it cut it and ready to go and like I said it's gonna come out pretty good um, it's not gonna look too pixelated because like I said we're in here at 24 34 hundred percent um, so yeah, so that is how I would put cut contour lines and a bleed around an actual image that somebody sent me that could not be um, image traced. And obviously, um, since we did turn that into white, um, a little bonus feature here. Uh, not really a bonus feature, but there's really no sense in having a bleed if you're already white. Um, so you can actually then take that five point bleed off. Um, like I said, because there's no real sense in having a white bleed when you're printing on white vinyl. So if we had that, then that would be all we would need. And then, because it would just be white on the outside anyways. So that is how I would take a image that I could not image trace, but somebody really wanted a sticker of that particular image without taking that image and completely redrawing it, um, which that is a whole other process in itself, but can be done. Um, it takes a few hours to uh, to do processes like that, but you could vectorize that image pretty close to exact. It would just take a lot of a lot of hand drawn, or not hand drawn, but a lot of uh, a lot of detailed artwork on there. So, so that is how I would do that. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, I know I kind of rambled there at the end, but uh, I just really wanted to try to show you guys that the best that I could. Um, like I said, watch the videos. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, let us know, and we will get back to you on any answers that we might have for you. Have a great day. Thanks, guys.